I know that the start of this season is making us a bit nervous. With five games in the Premier League and only one point under our belt, the situation is worrying, to say the least. And you must be wondering, when will Everton turn this game around? Well, the trip to Leicester City last weekend seemed like the perfect opportunity to get that long-awaited first win. But what happened? History repeated itself. A wasted advantage and another frustrating draw. Of course, with these results, the fans' patience is starting to run out, especially with Sean Dyche's work. And you're not alone. Many people are wondering if Dyche is really the right guy to get us out of this situation. Even more so now, with the rumors that are going around. They say that Everton's board has already started talking to none other than Maurizio Sarri, the coach who was once a Europa League champion. Could Dyche's future be in danger? The talk behind the scenes is that, despite Farhad Moshiri giving Dyche his vote of confidence, his patience is not infinite. And all this is happening at a very delicate time for the club, with the possible acquisition of Everton by the Friedkin Group, which is making changes behind the scenes at Goodison Park. And look, if Sari does come, it seems that he is already looking to bring in some names from his former coaching staff, such as does Daniela Tognacini, a highly respected fitness coach. Curious, isn't it? Even Pep Guardiola has already stated in an interview that he admires Sari's style. Could his arrival change Everton's destiny? But, before speculating too much, we have a crucial weekend ahead. Everton will play at home again, and the first victory at Goodison Park is more than necessary. What is clear is that, if this winless streak continues, the board will not have much choice. Daesh's future could be on the line, and the pressure for changes will only increase. Now, what do you think? Is Sari the right name to turn this game around, or is it still possible that Daesh can turn things around? What we do know is that the next few weeks promise to be decisive for Everton's future.